everyone, my name's Beck, and I'm the mum of two Yorta Yorta children, and I live here in Ballarat. And today we're going to read a book called Wombat Stew, and we're going to make our very own Wombat Stew. You've probably read this one before, but this is how it goes. Wombat Stew. One day, on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. Here's my little wombat. And he decided to make wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What is all the water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo, with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for gooey stew is mud. Big bops of billabong mud. Whoops of mud. Dingo laughed. What a good idea. Righto, in they go. In goes our mud. So Platypus scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Gooey brewy, yummy chewy, wombat stew. He's pretty happy with himself. Waltzing from the shade of the iron bark came Emu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew. Oh no, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew, boasted Dingo. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers, Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Righto, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around the and around the bubbling billy. Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Old blue tongue, the lizard, came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly Dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. That can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies. A great dingo rubbing his paws together. Righto, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flicked them into the gooey stewy stew. In goes our flies. Mix it around. Around and around and around the bubbling belly. Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Look at him, he looks very happy with himself. Platypus not so happy. Up through the red dust popped Echidna. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice, it's ta and take it from me, a munchy stew you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. In goes our bugs. The very clever dingo stirred and stirred, all while singing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Righto, in they go, and into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew. Koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. In go our gum nuts. Aha, cried Dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that, he asked. A big, fat wombat. Wait, stop! Hang on, Dingo, you can't put that wombat in the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Righto, I'll taste it. And the very clever Dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp. Ah, I'm poisoned, he howled. You tricked me. And he dashed away deep into the bush, never again to sing Wombat Stew, Wombat Stew, Gooey Brewy, Yummy Chewy, Wombat Stew. And that's our book. And did you see our stew? All of our bits are in here, except for our wombat. Maybe you can have, make some stew at home with lots of different ingredients that you can find in your backyard.